Colas, a world leader in road construction, now presents Wattway, the first ever photovoltaic road surface in the world. I heard that if we installed solar panels across 1% of the world's deserts, we could produce enough energy to cover the entire world's needs. And what if we took this idea one step further? What if we used roads to produce solar energy? Specialists in road innovation have already started working on the idea. So it's true. I've been rather skeptical about solar roadways over the years. I've had the French built one several years ago that cost a few million dollars or euros, that sort of thing. With a road surface that is able to self-produce clean energy, I can just imagine how much progress could be made. Providing electricity to homes, buildings, streetlights, urban furniture. Ha! <laughs> At the time said all of the believers. You experts in your numbers. The French built a working solar roadway. You must feel pretty stupid about now. You must feel like one of those dullards who laughed at Copernicus, who laughed at Galileo, who laughed at the Wright brothers. You must feel like one of those drab, simpleton traditionalists who just couldn't think out of the box, who said, why do we need cars when horses work perfectly well? Uh, sorry, what's that? Solar roadways announced to be a complete disaster. Oh no, who could have seen it coming? Us rooftop ones which aren't as good, um, compare it. 146 kilowatt hours per square meter for the rooftop, 82 kilowatt hours per square meter for the solar road system. The solar roads is has the 56% of the efficiency of a rooftop solar system. That's basically half, half the output. So right there, it, it, it's done and dusted. Why the hell would you pay for solar roads that give you half the output at best? Solar roadways, the announced disaster is consumed. Yeah, this is from a Google Translate, but uh, the experts were wrong. The solar road is a financial disaster. The foreseeable and announced financial disaster of the solar road inaugurated with great pomp by uh, Mr. Roy Hall in Normandy in December 2016 is consumed. And it's even worse than expected because the experts were mistaken. Actually, no, the experts got it exactly right. So when you combine the fact that at best, it's gonna be three times the cost of an equivalent uh, commercial ground installation for half the output, that is six times more dollars per watt you're paying for a solar roadway system. That's at best. The area produced about 150 megawatt hours of electricity over a year. The 3,000 square meters of road cost about 5 million euros without taxes to the French taxpayer. That's nearly 2,000 euros per meter squared against 5 euros per meter squared for asphalt. It would also be an intelligent road, able to adapt to traffic conditions, to read and interpret traffic flows. For information, the same Chinese solar road cost almost four times cheaper. Uh, yeah, that's because labor is about four times cheaper in China. Since the purchase price of that electricity is about 40 euros per megawatt hour, the value of this production is about 6,000 euros per year, or a 0.01% return on investment. Electric vehicles could recharge their batteries using the road surface as they drive totally revolutionary. The lifespan of this portion of the solar road is 10 years. It will deliver a total of one and a half thousand megawatt hours, which corresponds to about three and a half thousand euros per megawatt hour, 85 times the market price. By the way, I've been incredibly generous in these calculations here saying, you know, at best uh, six times dollars per watt. It's, as I said, going to be an order of magnitude worse. This does not take into account the maintenance of a road service. When you take a solar panel and you drive cars on top of it. Oh, are you insane? Why would you put anything on top of a solar panel? It is just 
stupid. And you think that equipping a mere 10% of the planet's road networks would cover 100% of all of mankind's energy needs. Money pump. This kind of money pump allows clever industrialists to gorge themselves on public subsidies. Can they be blamed for responding to a formal request and use if the law allows and offers beautiful inaugurations to the elected proud of their achievement? Though the risky and even stupid decisions of its representatives, can the taxpayer afford such financial mismanagement for a long time? Honestly, guys, this was called from the very start by the uh, experts as a stupid idea. That being said, uh, never underestimate the stupidity of people in large groups, as we will see at the very end of this video. But wait, I hear you say, what about those giants, the Brussels? Solar freaking roadways. What are they? They're solar freaking roadways. Technology that replaces all roadways, parking lots, sidewalks, driveways, tarmacs, bike paths, and outdoor recreation surfaces with solar panels. And not just lifeless, boring solar panels, smart microprocessing, interlocking, hexagonal solar units. They got some $2 million of money from the United States government to develop solar roadways. And hell, back in 2014, some Four years ago now, they got a further $2 million from a viral Indiegogo campaign. Surely they must have shown that solar roadways are viable by now, right? I mean, back in 2014, they were promising solar panels that you can drive, park, and walk on. They melt snow and cut greenhouse gases by 75%. Well, a year or two ago, they completed their first real installation at a cost of about half a million dollars. Which, it must be said, that I previously mocked because it caught fire and even when it was working, only generated about 10 cents of electricity per day in peak season. <laughs> Hello boys! You could open a wishing well and generate more money than that. Well, let's see how much this half million dollar installation is generating now. So it turns out there's this website that allows you to see the power generation of various solar facilities in America. So you can actually go to Sandpoint, Idaho, and you click on it and you find solar roadways. Well, let me start by saying that it's perfectly natural for solar panels to age. They lose a little bit of their efficiency every year. You know, about 1% per year is about average ballpark numbers. Well, how much did solar roadways lose over one year? Well, last year they were generating about one kilowatt hour per day in June, July, that sort of thing, peak season. This is merely June one year on. It's down to one third of a kilowatt hour per day. Oh boy, that's not that it's lost 1% of its energy generating capacity, it's lost 70% of its energy generating capacity. And given that the market value for a kilowatt hour is about eh, 10 cents, give or take, that means that it's now generating, give or take, 2 cents of electricity per day. This is exactly the kind of over-the-horizon thinking that has brought Idaho's own solar roadways to national and world prominence. In winter, it's going to generate a fraction of that. So let's just assume the optimum numbers for summer, that it's generating two cents per day, 365 days per year. That means that for a year, it's optimistically going to generate about seven dollars per year. Oh boy. In fact, let's do this. So here we have our spreadsheet. This is going to be year two in which we generated seven dollars um <clears throat> so year one we're decaying about a factor of three per year so in year one uh that's how many dollars we generated <clears throat> and so in year one there was that much and in that's this is going to be the total money generated and that's year yearly generation. Okay, and so in the next year, we're going to be that divided by three. And then. <laughs> uh, oops, plus one. No, 
Okay, there we go. Super. Done. Which means that um, next year it's going to generate about $2. The year after, 70 cents. Then by the fifth year, it's going to be generating a quarter per year. And by the end of its operational lifespan, which is about 10 years, it'll be generating a tenth of a cent per year. Oh, and did I mention that they're also solar panels? They generate electricity, they generate capital. They pay for themselves and they keep paying more because we're not gonna run out of sun for like 15 billion years. And so even if we run it out to 20 years, by the time you're up to 20 years, you're generating about one millionth of a cent per year. That lowers the cost of energy, unlike those bills in the mail that keep going up. Which, and this is the total amount of money that it generates. So it plateaus out very quickly at about $30. Okay, there you go. So that's how much money it generates per year. So in the first year it generated 20 bucks, then seven bucks, then next year it'll be two bucks, then uh, 70 cents and so forth. And this is the total amount of money that it's gonna generate, which plateaus out at about uh, just over $30. Let's see, a half million dollar installation generating $30 in its lifetime. Let's give or take a return on investment of one part in 10,000. For every thousand dollars you invest, you get 10 cents back. This is literally on the level of stupidity of coming up with this brilliant idea of heating your house with a money burning stove. Apart from, of course, that would be a genius idea compared to this solar roadway because all of that lighting and heating consumes much more energy than it ever produces. Hell, not to labor the point too much, but if they just installed a regular, off-the-shelf, nothing special rooftop solar installation of about the same size as their solar roadway, it would have generated about 15 kilowatt hours per day and cost about $4,000. Instead, they got a solar roadway installation that you can't drive on, that you can't park on, that you can merely walk on. And it cost half a million dollars. It generates 2% of the energy of the aforementioned $4,000 installation. And if you want to judge it versus regular solar installations, the ones that lose maybe 20% of their efficiency over 20 years, Solar Roadways loses that much efficiency in about four months. Want to save this planet and make it sustainable for your kids and all future generations of life who can look back and say, hey, at least they invented solar freaking roadways. Please follow the link to Indiegogo.com. Meet Scott and Julie Brusaw, check out their work and get informed. This isn't just donating, it's an investment in a real future. Let's do this. And if you think that that's the end for Solar Roadways, you're way off. This year, the very same Solar Roadways project won Mo Madness. Yes, the Innovation Nation project, the one that comes with Henry Ford's name on it. Now, you might think that I'm just confused here. I mean, sure, these people were featured on Innovation Nation a few years ago. Welcome to the Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. I'm Mo Rocca. Prepare to be mesmerized. Coming up, hitting the road for the ultimate power trip. We've got the solar cells, the circuit board, the LEDs for making road lines, and graphics, whatever we need. But surely, after all these years, they can't have just won the Innovation Nation thing. Nope, this is this year. They are the Innovation Nation champions. You're going to be rendered speechless. The Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. Oh, and the Callus Whatway? That's now being installed in Georgia. The Foundation is so excited. The Wattway Solar Road is but one imagining of how clean energy can be generated. The road surface is being better utilized by Wattway as the road can generate clean energy for our communities. This new life that Wattway helps to bring to life for our roads and highways. It's, as I said, 
going to be an order of magnitude worse. This does not take into account the maintenance of a road surface. When you take a solar panel and you drive cars on top of it. It seems relatively quick to adapt the roadway and install the wattway product. The potential is there that it could help to reduce the carbon footprint uh, there along the rail along I-85. Oh, are you insane? Why would you put anything on top of a solar panel? It is just stupid. The possibilities in the future with Huawei are really endless. If you think about the infrastructure that we have available uh, across the country, think about the possibilities, electric vehicles, uh, energy to your home, uh, energy to your business, lighting. It's an exciting future to think about. I wonder if they've considered this amazing new device that could someday generate unlimited, free, clean power. And I can sell them the prototype today for a mere million dollars. But better hurry, there's a lot of stupid people out there desperate to be parted from their money.